baby. This is your captain's Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday. Today is our first port in five days. Yeah, we've had four sea days, and uh, this is our first port, and it's a tender port. So, crew does not have like a long time out. We have probably like just two hours only. We are actually in Port Stanley, which is. Um, the Falkland Islands. It is 8 degrees Celsius, so kind of cold. But at this point, after being an, in Antarctica, it's I, I can safely say it's 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 kind of cold because because Antarctica is here yeah, cold. So the tender ride is like around 20 to 25 minutes. So I put this um hat on my head to protect my head from the cold and my ears of course i'm gonna wear of course my my coat and my scarf <laughs> gonna put that on so yeah um so port stanley is basically still british owned there, there's some sort of uh, situation happening with Port Stanley. It's Argentinian territory, but it is British owned. It's weird. I don't really know exactly all the details, but yeah. So if you say it is British owned, Argentinians are gonna get mad. And of course, I assume Argent um, the British people aren't bothered because they are the ones occupying it. They use pounds there and everything. Every they speak English there. It's very small. It's a very small island. There is one supermarket, a church, a gift shop, and a place to eat food, and that's it. The one supermarket supports the entire island, y'all. So it is very small. But what I'm looking forward to going off to do is going to the supermarket it's because I miss crumpets and I am hoping, I know it's actually not England, but because everything that they have here is British basically and everything is important, imported as well so it's a little bit more expensive, I am hoping that when I get into the supermarket that I see crumpets. I really want some crumpets honestly I've been craving them for the th basically throughout the entire pandemic okay um, so I really want to get some so hopefully they do have y'all uh, let me just say up front I apologize some of the audio in my past couple vlogs the ones that I've done hiking on and stuff it's not great because i'm i was using my camera i'm going to only use my camera i think from now on indoors and when i'm one place and when i'm outside use my phone for vlogging for now because i need a new camera because this camera is as i've been editing foot the footages i'm like it's driving me insane and it's not like I can go film it over you know what you know what I mean so uh, yeah I do apologize about that y'all but anyway uh, let's go head out to Port Stanley And that's the supermarket right there. Promise I ain't trying to play games with ya, girl. Honest, you are not a side character. Every day after day, I try to go out my way. Cause I wanna secure you. Oh, I wanna, wanna, wanna see you every night after night. Can we forget about time? Cause I wanna adore you. This is pitch perfect, really got me thinking you and I could be something 
Pressed all the right buttons and now I'm done Searching damn tired and you're done Big girl, I'm done, no competition Swing like gelato, 되고 싶어, Valentino Rockin' on a high note, got a love in this soprano 너 만나고 나서 절대 놓지 않아, 바빠도 다른 여자는 없어, no Cause you're the one and only girl Promise, I ain't tryna play games with ya, girl Honest, you are not a side character Every day after day, I tryna go out my way So what does that girl do? Oh, I wanna, wanna, wanna See you every night after night Can we forget about time? Cause I wanna adore you Y'all, I just got back on board. I carried a reusable bag so I didn't have to push it on another new bag. Y'all, listen. I didn't get the crumpets and it was such a rush to because <laughs> by the time they let us off of the ship, we only had one hour. So yeah, everything was just a rush. If you're hearing music playing, my neighbor is rehearsing at the moment. So I got a pack of hula hoops. I have never tried this one before, but one of the guys, JJ, he told me that I should pick this up. So I try. I bought one of these hula hoops. <sighs> Chapa cakes. I actually already opened it and I had two. <laughs> this is how they look, you all. They're so good and they have like an orange kind of marmalade on the inside delicious i picked up this uh classic cafe classic hot chocolate sweetened hot chocolate because there is no hot chocolate on the ship for free you have to pay for it so and we're in antarctica and stuff so yeah i i've had to go to the al Bacio and buy hot chocolate and mocha chinos and those type of things so i'm i'm getting myself sorted and oh wait yeah, I'm getting myself sorted and to go with the hot chocolate. I also picked up this flavored beanies barista mocha instant coffee. Instant coffee so I can have my own mocha chinos as well. Yorkshire tea. Uh, actually, I bought so much because I'm taking... Y'all know I love teas, so most of these are going home with me. Um, that's why I bought big boxes of the teas. Peachy tips, kind of like Lipton, but a little bit better. Don't come for me, just my opinion. You all, I got the last Lotus Biscoff. I like the smooth one though, but this is the crunchy. And honestly, I just had to go for it because it, crunchy, smooth, it really doesn't matter. It was the last one I had to get it. Um, and these are... Ugh. Let's just say, if you like Nutella, if you love, if, I, I don't even know how to describe this, y'all. This is just something that you have to try at least one time in your life. And I promise you, when you try it, you will never go back. I promise you. I also picked up the cookies themselves. I'm actually carrying these at home. Also carrying this home as well and my teas well i'll be drinking some of the teas here but carrying the teas home all butter shortbread i also picked up this really large halloumi because i want i want to take this home luckily this doesn't have to have to be freeze frozen you just need to put it in the refrigerator so i'm gonna put keep this in my refrigerator here until it's time for me to go home and as soon as i go home i'm gonna cook it maltesers um hot chocolate well one packet of Maltesers hot chocolate as well and one packet of the Cadbury hot chocolate that was on sale for 50 pence uh, so yeah that so I'm good with hot chocolate for the next couple of weeks and I also picked up some Walkers which is basically like Lay's but the British version of Lay's and um, this one in the salt and vinegar sizzling smoky bacon and 
cheese and onion flavor and while I was in the line to come back to the tender I ate the ready the, the regular with one already <laughs> and that was it y'all in total my bill came up to 44 pounds and 15 pence anyway y'all I need to get ready for work so I will talk to you guys a little bit later on It's another day you guys it is tuesday and i just finished working literally today was a cd so all we did was well all i did was sleep all day <laughs> and then i worked <laughs> tonight because well it was very rocky and the rocking makes me sleep you know like a baby in a rocking chair or crib or something not a crib a crib doesn't move but you know that those when you're rocking a baby uh, that's what the ship does to me when it's very rocky so yeah i ended up um sleeping all day i wanted to wash my hair today but that did not work out so i guess i'll wash it on thursday which is the next cd so i just came from work but we have a crew party tonight so i decided to pick the camera up because i might film a tiny bit that is the plan okay if the clip never makes it in it never was filmed so, so um i this is what i wore to work tonight and this dress i got from a company had sent it to me last year y'all i honestly really 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 love this dress like so much you have no idea it's so comfortable as well and it's stylish and it's nice and cute and very girly and flirty and stuff so i love it so much so i wore this to work tonight and i'm gonna change my clothes now and uh go to this crew party and see how many clips i can get to film you'll see i'll show you guys what i'm wearing to the party after long Good morning you guys happy wednesday hope you guys have had a fantastic week so far y'all so we had a crew party last night and then we had drill this morning y'all i slept through my alarms i literally woke up 15 minutes before the drill started so i had to rush to get ready just finished drill we are in puerto madryn today and if you guys if you guys have been following me from since um like vlogmas then you would know that puerto madryn is the is the, is where i flew to from trinidad in order to meet the ship so remember that waffles place that i had found on the beach near my hotel 
I think I will be going back there. So I'm going to go see if it's open, but I'm gonna, just going to take a walk down. Apparently, remember I told you guys that I didn't really remember it from the angle that I was at because I flew in. I'm used to coming in via the ship. So now, now I remember it from, well, obviously, like from the way that we docked and stuff. So yeah, now I remember it. And I actually, it's probably like about 10 blocks where the where we're docked is probably like around four blocks away from the restaurant that I had the fancy dinner at uh, on Christmas Eve anyway y'all let's head out let me go see if I can get some waffles actually I hope that they have crepes because I feel like that's what I really want yeah anyway let's head out Does any of this look familiar? And on this side, there's a ship right there. And there are actually people out at the beach today. Nice. And the waffles, please, right there. You guys, oh my gosh, I just got free churros. The lady came, they were closed and uh, like I rang the bell, but I didn't realize that they were closed. And the lady came out and she gave me free. She asked me how much I wanted. And I said, two dolce de leche churros. And I got them. Oh, so excited. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. You're nice, huh? Wow. You guys, we are in Buenos Aires. Argentina today and uh, we just found Rosetta, Rosetta by Bond Street near Bond Street and uh, um, we are about to have lunch. Yeah. Actually it's, it's that's my about it. dinner for me. <laughs> I don't know if I'll eat later. No, so that's my I'm, dinner. I'm sure you'll eat. You sure? Yeah. Oh and by the way um, Buenos Aires is a very scary kind of place when you're walking with your phones and stuff. So I'm not sure if I can get clips on the outside. Oh, we should get it. She's there the security. <laughs> only when I walk, <laughs> only when I go inside places that I pull my phone out. But on the street, it's I know it's not safe. <laughs> Like 
Hey y'all, so I just got back on board. I actually have Master 2.0 now, which is, it's my first time doing Master 2.0. I didn't have to do it on my last contract because I always worked on embarkation day at the time that Master 2.0 usually happens. But this is basically us showing the guests, making sure that the guests check into their making sure that the guests check in to their master station so they know what to do in case of an emergency and where they have to go so that um it's now quarter past one and i have to do this from 2 15 until 5 p.m and then i work tonight at 7 45 9 45 and 10 45 but i wanted to show you guys well, i mean what i picked up today was it was i literally just went into a pharmacy picked up two things it's not like anything really to show you guys <laughs> literally just some wipes and and um some gillette fusion heads for my gillette shaver anyway yesterday we were in montevideo again which is the shopping mall that i went to i went back to the same shopping mall that i went to and i think it was my last vlog or two vlogs ago when i went to zara and h&m and stuff and i showed you guys what i picked up when i went back to that mall and i went to mango and H&M again. I went into Zara again, but I didn't find anything in Zara that I really liked. And Zara is super messy. Like I went into Zara home as well as as well as a regular Zara. The Zara reg the regular Zara, it's so messy. Everything is very disorganized. <laughs> so it's very difficult to find things there and especially like in your side. It was just chaos, you know? So I didn't find anything in Zara. But in Mango I picked up just these pants that are very, very similar to the um to the these pants right here. See how nice they look. I, I like how they have this um the the stitching coming down in the middle of the pants on the you know what I mean, right? I really like the way that it looks. This is like similar to the famous zara pants i want to get the zara ones as well actually that's what i went looking for in zara but i couldn't find so i want to get the zara ones as well since i found these ones i'll use this is the almost the color that i wanted in zara i wanted the oyster white and the black but since i found these in mango i am going to then just buy the black one on in zara online or something i'll i'll see how that goes because i don't really have any black dress pants which is something that i need like i need to have in my wardrobe for both ships as well as home pick this up in a u.s size six honestly y'all i almost picked it up in the four the four fits so much sexier however i know that sometimes my weight fluctuates and my actual real size is a u.s size six sometimes an eight but usually a size six so i was like okay let me actually pick up my size because if i pick up the size four i like it now but if i gain even an ounce of fat again it won't fit me anymore so i'm like okay let me just pick up my size i'm done so that way when i get a little bit the thing about it is the 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 waist on this one is slightly like it's not noticeable but i can feel it it's slightly slightly big so i can feel it so at least if i gain a little bit more weight i'll be fine this was 16.90 um uruguayan pesos roughly around 40 dollars, i believe let me just check real quick yeah so 43 us dollars for these pants and then from h&m i picked up these tights because i actually do not own any tights i don't have any like like these tights that i'm wearing right now right you see here how they have the mesh det detailing there and then on my other ones i have lace and mesh you know so it's like i don't have any like proper tights where i can walk about on the ship without it without anyone saying anything to me though basically like in guest areas in crew areas this is fine but in guest areas like i don't want anyone to say anything to me so I just wanted to get some plain tights where it's not noticeable that you're wearing tights you get what i'm saying because i could always wear this with like a blazer or something and it will look very put together so yeah just some high-waisted tights let me tell you the 
These are called training tights. They're seamless, full length, high waist. This is from the H&M Move collection. And I got this in a size small. It was 999 Uruguayan pesos, which is basically like around ten dollars goes all the way down to the ankles and everything so yeah and it has this rib detailing which i don't know if you guys remember but i one of the sports bras that i picked up at ross ha, is basically this very same style so those two together is gonna go real good for casual and then if i wanted to dress it up i could wear a blazer and a top with it perfect i also picked up this biker short seamless for this was 5.99 pesos I picked this up in a size medium and 5.99 pesos is like around seven US dollars and I basically picked these up to wear under like one of my tight dresses I don't have anything that that is suitable enough to like hug me to wear under you know what I'm talking about ladies like it's just for that kind of seamless look when you're wearing tight dresses really that's what this is for it's ribbed also as you guys can see there so yeah that and last tooth items is basically this t-shirt that i'm wearing here right now picked up two of them both in a size small you all know i love h&m t-shirts and these were 349 pesos each to i think about five dollars that is everything that i picked up yesterday in uruguay today is saturday by the way so happy saturday let me see if i can like I've, as i told you guys i've never done master 2.0 before so let's see if i can get any clips from that and then well same old same old it's a, it, today's embarkation day it's a new cruise and just work that's about it y'all that being said thank you so much for watching this video um i really appreciate it be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe click that notification bell and i will see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.